I am Julie Herman of Jaybird Quilt and Lazy Girl Designs and welcome to the Gravity Block of the Month. We are now in month two. Month two is called Constellation and these are our blocks for month two. We're going to have a predominantly yellow block and a purple block and you can see this purple block here in the finished quilt. And we are going to be cutting triangles and half triangles using the Super Sidekick Ruler. So let's get started. Working from our gravity pattern books, we're on page 14 to make block two and following the cutting directions that can be found on pages seven and eight. We're going to begin with 10 inch squares. We're gonna take those squares, cut them into our pieces, and then take our pieces and make them into our block. Same pattern, different colors, gives us the appearance of two different blocks while using the same pattern. The directions for the constellation block are on page 14 of your book. And if you are using the kit, your fabric should be in the order that you need to use them. And again, this month I did what I did last month, which is I printed out the free PDF I put together for you. And I tagged my fabrics so that if they get mixed up, I know what is what. I highly suggest you do that. If you haven't downloaded that PDF yet, you can sign up at the link in the caption below and I will email it right on over to you. So to begin, we are going to first cut a triangle. So let me show you how we do that. Directions for how to cut triangles are on page eight of your book. And for this block, we need a six and a half inch triangle. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to cut a six and a half inch strip from our square. And as I mentioned last month, I am cutting from squares that I cut out of fabric, not from the official kit. So yours will have the pinked zigzag edges. So if you would like, before you go ahead and just cut your strip, you can square up an edge first. We do have enough fabric this month to do that. So you can go ahead and square up an edge and then cut a six and a half inch strip. I apologize, my head got in the way in the original footage. So I am re-recording this. This is the D fabric then I'm also cutting a triangle from it. So I'm just going to record this so that you can see better what I was trying to tell you, which is we're going to cut a six and a half inch piece. I'm just going to take our ruler and line it up flush to the one edge. And this is a six and a half inch wide ruler and cut. Now we're going to set this piece aside. We will have lots of scraps and that is part of what we can use to cut for our stellar pillow, which is featured at the end of the book. So now that we have our six and a half inch strip, we're going to take our ruler as shown on page eight and line up our six and a half inch solid line on the top of our fabric strip and the base of our ruler along the bottom of the strip. And we will cut. Now we need to rotate our fabric strip around and we also need to realign our ruler. We're going to take our ruler and we're going to flip it to the back so that we can't read the word super sidekick. And we're going to line up again, our six and a half inch solid triangle line. And then we're going to line up our solid triangle line here. Double check everything. And cut. And I am right-handed, so if you are left-handed, this will be reverse for you. So now we have our first triangle, and I'm gonna go ahead and take the tag that was on my fabric and go ahead and use it to tag my triangle. The next thing that we need to cut is half triangles. The directions for cutting half triangles are on page seven of your book. And this is what I wanna cut for block two, which is I wanna cut right half triangles and left. And we're going to cut our right with our fabric right side up, and we're going to cut our left with our fabric wrong side up. So let me show you what that looks like. So again, I am going to cut this down to a six and a half inch strip. And you can always square yours up first if you would like. And following the directions on page seven, I'm going to take my ruler and arrange it so that I have my solid, half triangle line along the edge of my fabric and my six and a half inch line along the top of my piece that I just cut. And I'm gonna double check that my fabric is right side up because I wanna cut a right half triangle. And 
And now to cut the next piece, I don't need to move my fabric. I just need to move my ruler. I'm going to rotate it around 180 degrees. Like that. And I'm going to line up my solid half triangle line and my six and a half inch line. And cut. And then you just continue down the strip cutting the number of pieces you need. For this block, I need three. Once I have those cut, I'll stack them up, take my tag, and put it on here to keep myself nice and organized. So now to cut my left half triangles, similar process, but we're going to use the wrong side of the fabric. I don't need the wrong side up to cut the six and a half inch strip, but I will after this. So I'll show you what that looks like. So since I want left half triangles, I'm going to have my fabric wrong side up. And it's going to look that I'm cutting the same as I did for the previous one, but since I am cutting with the fabric wrong side up, I will end up with the mirror image, which is what I want. So double check, wrong side up, six and a half inch solid line everywhere, and cut. And just as I did with the right ones, I'll continue down the strip, cutting the number of pieces that I need for the block that I'm working on, which in this case is three. There we go, we have the mirror image. And again, I'll move my tag so that I can keep myself nice and organized. I do want to show you one additional option of how to cut half triangles. Since we need right and left, we can go ahead and cut them at the same time. So I'm going to take my D fabric and put that out of the way for now because that's not the one I need. I need my E and my F. And my E, I want right. So I'm going to keep that fabric right side up. And my F, I want left. So I'm going to put that fabric wrong side up. And I am leaving my tags right now just because I want to have those as a reference. I'll show you why in just a moment. So I'm gonna line these up. And if you don't get yours perfectly lined up, this is a good opportunity to just kind of square up one side. So I'll show you what that looks like. Just cutting about a little scrap, less than an eighth off. I'm gonna rotate those around, keep them nice and together. Cut a six and a half inch strip from each one, keeping them as a nice little sandwich. And since I didn't take my tags off, I have those and I can use them as my double check to make sure my F, I'm looking at the wrong side, and my E, I'm looking at the correct side, which is what I have. And then one thing to know here is that if you get this flipped upside down, if something happens, as long as you get me your images, you're going to be okay. They're just going to be in the opposite places in the block, but you will still have enough pieces in the right size and shape to create your block. So. It's a little bit forgiving there, so don't, don't panic if you happen to cut a right and a left from the wrong pieces. So now that I've squared up that edge, I'm going to cut just like I did when I had a single layer of fabric. But since I have two layers, I'm going to get my right and my left at the same time. So here's what that looks like. We take our super sidekick, line up our solid line on our newly cut line, six and a half inch line on the top piece there, and cut. Grab the E and the F, show you what that looks like. There we go. And then we will continue for the number of pieces we need, which in this case is we need three of each. So again, rotate the ruler around, line it up, six and a half inch solid line here, and a solid half triangle line there, and cut. And then until I get the last one, back to the original position, six and a half inch solid line at the top, and six and a half inch solid line down. And the last thing that I need to do for this block is just take my D fabric and cut that into a triangle, same as I did for my A. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful for you, be sure to like it, leave a comment below, and subscribe to the channel.
Show us your progress on your gravity blocks in our Facebook group. We'd love to see how you're coming along with your quilt. The link to the Facebook group is below. I'll be back here in the next video to show you how to piece block two.